Hey, so I'm Gary Byrne. I'm the author of Crisis of Character and Secrets of the Secret Service. I retired from the federal government with 29 years of federal law enforcement, four years in the Air Force, 12 years in the Secret Service Uniform Division, and 13 years as an Air Marshal. And so what we're talking about today is transfer of energy. When it comes to a, a, a projectile bullet out of a handgun, we're talking about handguns, and, um, and, and, and the transferring of the energy to the target. Now, um, we're going to talk about the difference between a full metal jacket round, some people refer to it as a training round, which is fine, and then a, um, a jacketed hollow point. So we're going to hang two jugs about the same size. They're just going to be full of water. And I'm going to shoot the first jug with a 357 SIG full metal jacket. And it will pass through. You'll see some movement. And then I'm going to shoot another jug with the jacketed hollow point round, the same velocities, as, as close as we can get. And you're going to see the difference. You're going to see that transfer of energy um, to, to, the, to the intended target, which in this case will be a jug of water, which is not exactly like a human body, but we do know the human body is about 70% water, and a jug of water is 100% water, so we're, we're not too far off. It'll, make the, it'll, make the dem it, it'll get across the information I'm trying to get, a, get across to you, is that the transfer of energy is something you should consider. So uh, here's a jacketed hollow point. You see how the, uh, the outside is copper. These are 357 SIG rounds. You can tell, one of the ways you can tell is because it's neck down. So you have the, uh, the copper to jacket, and then it's, it's uh, this is spear ammunition. So it is chemically bonded uh, to the lead core. And then this is a, a full FMJ, full metal jacket. Same, same round, same uh, uh, grain weight, uh, 125 grains. Um, same velocity, about 350 feet per second minimum. And so what happens is when this, FMJ full metal jacket passes through we'll say a, a jug of water it you're going to see some movement It's going to punch holes through both sides of course And it's going to be a little movement, but not that much violence because it's not transferring the energy when you shoot this uh, Full of uh, this uh, jacketed hollow point JHP round what happens is is when they this round impacts that outer Plastic layer and then the water just behind it. It starts a reaction a physical reaction where the basically the uh, Copper starts to expand backwards think of it as like a parachute It's parachuting open or opens like a mushroom So from this diameter which is literally three five seven sig is nine millimeter, which is, uh, is zero point uh, three five five um, it will get almost twice that size and as it passes through the body and it's getting bigger It starts slowing down because it's interacting with the body tissue bone and it's transferring that energy And when you shoot these rounds each through a jug um, You'll see the difference in transferring that energy now This is not always across the board like there are examples where when you get to smaller calibers and you know I don't want to get in, in, into the, the argument of you know what's a what's a good caliber for protection and my motto is is whatever's in your hand at the time that you need to protect it is the best thing to have in your hand but uh, stepping aside from that let's say you're using uh, 32 caliber some people go with the theory that in 32 caliber using full metal jacket is a good idea you know I'm fine with that I don't usually carry that round although I have that that, that gun that caliber so um, uh, um, I don't want to get wrapped around the axle on that but when we're talking about 357 sig 9 millimeter 40 caliber 45 ACP there's any any around around that size that I'm missing 38 special you know uh, a jack of the hollow point that transfers energy to the target the, and we're talking about the human body to stop somebody from causing harm or murder um, is the best way to go and it reduces the chances of the round Passing completely through the body and hitting an unintended target where this is this full metal jacket is Guaranteed almost to pass through the body depending on the caliber and the distance So so when we do this demonstration, it's up to you to decide what's right for you And in some cases like if you're carrying 38 special you can get wad cutters where they're they're partially jacketed And you know, there's there's a lot of different uh, ammunition out there but this is what we're talking about today. So again, thanks for your time. Go ahead. Did the secret does the Secret Service run full metal jacket in their subguns, like the MP5 and Uzis? It does. The Secret Service uses full metal jacket in its subguns. It's they're nine millimeter guns. Um, also, they have um, they when I left, they were still they were just get, using the um, Fabrique Nationale P90, um, which is also shoots the same ammunition in, in the FN gun, the um, 5.7. It's uh, it's technically um, 
a uh, it's a high high velocity round. It's technically a sub gun round because they shoot it out of a handgun. That's one of the definitions. A sub gun has to use, use handgun ammunition. What FN did was design a gun to shoot their high velocity ammunition out of a handgun, and now they shoot it out of a sub gun. That was that ammunition is is uh, actually cord jacketed, but it's also cord. It's a penetrator round. But normal sub guns like that are chambered in nine millimeter, the Secret Service uses uh, full metal jacket ammunition. Why? Because you're looking for distance. A sub gun, it, w w the Secret Service, when they when they purchase a weapon like a sub gun, you know, the average person would think, well, they're buying that gun to protect the president when they're outside the White House. And that's part of the mission. The main mission is protecting him at the White House. So an MP5 is a hundred yard gun. And it's only nine millimeter, but full metal jacket, you're gonna get somebody's attention. And and so it's a it's an it's a excellent weapon up to fifty yards. It can be a, easily a hundred yard gun and full metal jacket because also too, because um, sub guns are designed, most of them are designed to shoot the FMJ round as opposed to jacket hollow point. This is like a feeding issue? It can be a feeding issue, but it's also a distance issue as far as, because at the White House, the minimum distance you're gonna be shooting a sub gun, in theory, it depends, you know, all different scenarios, will be 25 yards, 50 yards easily, 100 yards. The, you know, think about how big the the, the, the White House complex is. Penetration, I would imagine with the sub guns, penetration, like, relative to vehicles was a factor. Not so much with sub guns, although um, that's another thing. A full metal ja jacket will punch through glass a little bit better, but so will jacket the hollow point. But again, the further the distance is, you're going to get a little bit more penetration from that, that full metal jacket. When you get start getting past those 25, 50, up to 100 yards, so um, so that's the philosophy. Um, gun uh, sub guns run better on full jacketed ammo. Um, some of them will will feed it, but but that's not what the services uh, philosophy revolves around. Okay. But for their handguns, it's jacketed hollow point ammunition. All right, clear? Clear. Rolling. Okay, as you can see, this is the jug that I shot the full metal jacket 357 SIG round out of my SIG 229 the Legion series. Um, it pretty much passed right through. Of course, it split it open. It's Even though it's full metal jacket, it's still going at a very fast, a minimum of 1,350 feet per second. It went in this side, came out this side, and as you'll see in the, in the, in the video, it, the jug stayed on the mount that I had it on. This is the one that we shot the 357 SIG jacketed hollow point and, and what we're discussing here is transferring of energy the energy passed through this pretty much it did not pass completely through this in other words it transferred so much energy look how it split it open look at the back how it distorted the plastic it split it wide open and as you see in the video it actually jumped it up in the air quite a bit it clearly is an excellent demonstration cheap how much are two empty milk jugs um and and two rounds of ammunition one full metal jacket the other one jacketed hollow point and uh, it shows you the transfer in energy and how important it is when you're selecting a round. Do I want a full metal jacket that is more than likely, depending on the caliber, going to pass through the, an individual? Or do I want to use a full metal jacket that transfers the energy? It expands on impact and puts more energy on target. And that's what you want to do most of the time. Are there times when you want a full metal jacket? Absolutely. But that decision's up to you. So once again, Gary Byrne, I greatly appreciate you watching my video channel. And uh, I'm also at official Gary J. Byrne.